everyone, welcome to Excel Highway, your one-stop shop for all your Excel needs. Today I want to share with you this very nice template for your goal tracking. Personal use, business use, whatever you need, you can use this <coughs> as a very nice template for you. And you can see I already set it up with some, let's say, weekly goals. I've built it on a weekly basis. So basically, um, you have the template sheet which is where you set up your weekly goals. So this is a table. You have the goal name, minimum per week, and the goal number, which is a formula. So whenever you add something, the formula uh, just adjusts, and whenever you delete it, it goes away. And I'll show you in a second what happens when you change this. And you have the sign, this is what's being used here in a drop-down list for the mark for completion. So let's take a look at what we have over here and then the formula is how to build it. So basically the um, all of the data is being pulled based on the goal number. First line is the um, the first line is supposed to show you the starting week then you start at 1 and then this is the formula I'm checking if the number above is equal to the last uh, line that I want to have and if not I'm adding 1 if yes I'm starting again from 1 so you see I have 8 lines which is one line more than the number of goals since I want to have a separation between the weeks so this is this this um, column formula. Um, this of course takes the max of that table, okay, and has a one. And this is a starting date that you need to key in. If you change the date, then everything will be adjusted. Then you have the dates themselves. So the first line has to be the starting date. Then I'm actually using an index and match to find out based on the number here which goal I'm looking at so I'm using index and that before on match nested formula if it's an error meaning I cannot find this number which is for 8 then I'm gonna use max value above plus 7 because it means to me um, that um, this is the line of the separation of the um, week week number. Okay, so this is this column over here. Minimum per week. Again, this is just a VLOOKUP. Sorry, index match, but you can also use VLOOKUP, of course. And if it's number eight, like an error, I'm just using this to have it as a blank. All right. This, now I'll get to the conditional formatting soon, but this is where you, using a um, data validation, all right, over here, because uh, I'm, I'm setting up what is the value that I can key in. So it's V or nothing. I don't want to be able to allow anything else. Of course, you can change that if you like X or whatever you want. So you can put it over here. So these are these columns, and then we have the last one, which is checking if you're on track. So very simple. Um, and I just want this for the rows that are, you know, for the tab and the goals themselves. So that's why I have this if. So if this number is less than the max, then I'm just going to count the number of Vs that I have. Okay. And if it's greater than this number over here, then I'm going to flag this as on track with the yes or no if it's not. Um, let's talk about the conditional formatting over here. So for this column, basically I'm checking if this number is equal to this number. That means it's the last row. This and this should be the week. I'm just going to color that cell with a green so it's clear. That's for this one. Let's take a look on this. So here I have two conditional formattings. 
again if it's the last row then just color it with this color and if that is the value is equal to whatever you have in the drop down then color it green with a white text now what's nice about this is if you change something like uh, new goal one new goal two so the table you already shifted you see have two uh, I, I automatically have two new lines here and of course you need to adjust the fees and everything but that's what's nice about the table that it's going to be automatically adjusted for you and of course if you delete them then you're back to what you had before okay so if you enjoyed the video and the content please subscribe as i will be uploading regular um, videos and be sure to leave a comment if you want the template press on that like button thank you